Hello vlog channel. Today I am dressed like Margot Robbie and I realized that I've been working on quite a few blonde looks so I've basically been blonde all week. Here's a look at the makeup. Got this wig on. It's actually the same wig I used in the L transformation. I'm just taking you behind the scenes of filming some of these looks. Check out this amazing Barbie that I thrifted. This one is from Japan so the packaging was all Japanese. I love her. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Anyways, let's go do the roller skate Barbie look. Like in full, I'm gonna try to rollerblade with tape all over the wheels. I don't know what I was thinking, but hopefully I don't fall too badly. I'm on the way to a public beach. I'm really hoping it's not crowded. And I cannot bend my arms right now, but I have this sparkle spray that I'm gonna add on, and it looks like a potion I would have made as a kid. Ooh. Tyler just ran into the gas station and I have him wearing matching shorts. <laughs> so he looks crazy in there. And I'll see you at the beach. St. Augustine Beach. Oh, oh that's so cool. We found this area before the beach, but the sun is going down. So we're just doing it quick by this little beach hut. <laughs> oh, we'll start. Okay, we'll start. That was pretty good skating. <laughs> Close up of that outfit. I'm getting good. That is a cute little house. Is this private property? I've never been to St. Augustine Beach. I always go to Anastasia State Park. Rolling skate mile. <laughs> so if you want to see how I recreated this hat as well as the knee pads and skates, then just keep on watching. I did buy this and I'll have it linked down below. She got me these. Woo! Are you strapped in? I'm stuck. Oh. I'm stuck. Barbie. <laughs> well, the one in Athens is like the mural is like this everywhere. How beautiful! Let's try this on! I'm back! Look at the detail! Wow, I'm shaky. The earrings, the bow of course, and look what I just picked up from Walmart. People said they didn't like the face. I think this is beautiful. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. This special edition of People magazine is honestly awesome. It has so many amazing behind the scenes photos, really high quality, lots of info about the Barbies that were the inspiration, close-ups of all the fashion, the history of Barbie. Ooh, Twiggy. 
Let's get the retro Barbie look. Rock the iconic Barbie vibe with any hair color. Just add blue eyeshadow and a red lip. It's instantly recognizable. Start by curling small sections forward for the curly bang section. This is hands down my most used curling iron and group majority of that curl into a pin curl leaving the end ringlet and slide the bobby pin backwards. This gives a seamless look as we layer those curls. You wanna make sure the bobby pins don't go sideways. It's hard to know how many curls you'll need to really fill out this section, so start with the bangs first before putting your hair into a pony to make sure you get it right. If you have short hair, go with a high ponytail and curl the ends. Got long hair? Try an insert name here ponytail. I hide my length in a braid. Create a pinned bun behind the base of the faux pony and this really perks it up. Barbie Core summer isn't quite over. I'm now recreating this retro Barbie look and we're at a local beach that we love. It is so sun stunning, the sun's going down and I've been hired by Warner Brothers after all of the Barbie looks that I've been doing to promote the whole movie release. And I did this with Elvis as well. If you guys remember the Elvis movie last year, I have a whole vlog about Memphis if you want to check that out, but be sure to support the collab that I just did. I will have it linked down below and I hope you guys have been liking these Barbie looks. Before I show you the last two looks that I've been working on, here's a throwback of some footage that I took. <laughs> I was tipsy. I'd been drinking some wine and it was at the peak of Barbiecore mania and I was doing some shopping. So anyways, throwback. A lot of this stuff is sold out, but it's a nice little time capsule of all of the Barbie products that were available. So I hope you enjoy it. I have a green screen behind me and we're gonna be shopping some Barbie collabs. I had a big glass of this. This is really bad, but I am not great at speaking on camera sober. I don't normally drink before I film but I have a couple times and honestly it's way more fun <laughs> so anyways let's go through my list because I did curate one on my shop my page and I added like a bunch of different Barbie clubs because there is a ton of them and let's see what's worth buying I'm actually gonna be shopping as we do this you can shop this list that I put together link down below and the first thing that I did buy was the charmed aroma candle so if you don't know what charmed aroma is it's a candle you light and then as it like burns you get a little tin foil in there and then there's a ring so you get some sort of jewelry and you can see some of the Barbie options here oh on Bloomingdale's I did really want this collection again freaking sold out I loved their two-piece set with the mini skirt this dress they have a sequins dress I don't know how to say this one superga superga uh, they have some crazy shoes but my favorite shoes out of the collabs that I've been looking at are by Aldo Aldo killed it Mm, I want these heels really bad as well as this this purse because it looks very Chanel the quilted bag Obviously, it's not but like okay I bought a Chanel when I was in Paris one time and I still like feel bad about that purchase 200 I feel bad about so I don't know I am NOT like a big luxury queen or anything, but I thought this was really really fun So I got this one on eBay because it was sold out Next one that I'm debating on buying is the Fun Boy and Malibu Barbie Dream Beach Towel. I've been wanting this for like two years because this isn't a new collab and they also have some really crazy and fun um, pool floaties. I love anything um, Malibu Barbie, especially like the old ColourPop collab that I still am holding on to. We do have a new Barbie collab though, makeup wise, and it is by NYX. They have some funky pieces that are a little bit retro. I think the gloss would be a good purchase. A dog sweater which looks really cozy on this specific dog they have it shown and speaking of they do have a petco line there's a bed there's this stupid hat and some toys kitsch i'm a big fan of kitsch i buy kitsch stuff all the time and they have some um clips as well as scrunchies i thought these two were my faves and i think they would make a great purchase and like you're not breaking bank on kitsch you know dragon glassware i have it right here as i drink my wine but I would recommend their coffee mugs. This one is beautiful, but I have broken several of them. That's fun. Lots of fashion at PacSun. I love this vintage Barbie look. <laughs> they do have a typo. They have some really fun stuff. Am I yawning or burping? Okay. Oh, this one is so iconic. The Impala skate figure, not figure skates, roller skates. I DIY'd mine, but these ones, like the real thing, are just so cool. And they do have the um, knee pads and elbow pads. Super funky, socks as well. 
Moon and Barbie, they have an electric toothbrush and a bubble mint toothpaste. Bay's luggage is bright pink, the inside's super cute, and of course it's by Shea Mitchell. I miss PLL. Maybe I'll rewatch. Rolly is an Australian brand, so I don't know if I could get it if I wanted to, but it has um, like two piece sweat sets that are really cute for men and women, but they like look the same. And they have some cool hats, scarves, shoes. Ooh, Alex Nani. I used to collect these. I kind of miss it. I want to do it again, but they have a really cute Barbie silhouette bracelet. That's my favorite out of the bunch. Tangle teaser. It's just hot pink, so if you need a new brush, that one's kind of fun. And she and Barbie, they went the totally hair route, which I think is awesome. Very bright and fun. Great throwback if you're looking for new hair tools. Show me your Mew Mew. They have bathing suits and cover-up dresses in both um, straight sizes and plus sizes, I think. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they do. I love this print. It's similar to the um, Fun Boy collection. Forever 21 in Barbie. I didn't love a lot of the items, but I did really love the <laughs> Bermuda shorts. What else we got? The actual Barbies. I picked up the doll that's wearing this. Barbie and Unique Vintage, their collection was more true to the movie. I thought it was awesome. So much was out of stock, but again, you can check the links that I've set. Primark, is that, where, is that England? I don't know what Primark is, but they have a really cool um, phone case and blankets and towel set, and it's like at a very reasonable price point. Barefoot Dreams, this is a collection that is very expensive, but there's a really nice robe, and they have some stuff for tweens. Cozy Barbie blanket as well. This would be like a higher end version. Fanny Pack, this is by Stony Clover Lane. Love Stony Clover. I picked up some costumes because I am gonna do some hairstyles on a wig, but also on my own hair. I thought it would be fun to have like me as a blonde Barbie, but then just me as myself, but still wearing the Barbie outfit and see how each thing looks and show you how to get each style because they're totally wearable and fun. Um, that is my little drunk shopping and like sharing all of the Barbie collabs that I put together. I hope you guys enjoyed, and now I'm gonna go take a picture of this whole look. I'm trying to find some light. Should I just spin? Nice. Am I even in frame? Almost done my little shopping spree, but I did get the nautical necklace and earrings from Zara. I ended up painting them with nail polish to get a look more similar to the movie. And that shopping page has grown so much, I just keep on adding to it. And there's a Roots and Barbie collab which came out the day that I'm filming this voiceover. And it's so cute, I like want everything. But anyways, I'm holding back, but feel free to shop the links. We got most of the shots and we did a scene from the movie where she has her burnt toast. Sorry, my mic keeps falling. That's what that fluffy thing is. Final thing we're doing is making a Barbie charcuterie board with like all candy. So really a candy board, but we bought so much stuff from Bulk Barn. Let's put this together. from Warner Brothers. Let's open this up. Oh. Barbie t-shirts and Kenner G shirts. <laughs> and finally, this super soft Barbie blanket. Comment below if you've picked up anything Barbie related this summer. It's been hard to miss all of the Barbie collabs. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little behind the scenes video and I have a lot more fun content coming up. So be sure to stay tuned. And if you missed my birthday vlog, I'll have that linked right here to keep on watching.